Well, welcome back to my channel. My name is Felicia, aka known as Priestess Michaela. Oh, I don't even know where to begin. I, I, I realize, you know, this channel is dedicated to the healers, to all of you waking up, to all of you that have been on the path and still keep asking yourself, am I doing the right thing? <laughs> I think that's a game that we're all going through right now <laughs> especially since we're moving into the eclipse tomorrow um, so I had to come on here and share something really interesting and and I'm a very straightforward um, I tell it like it is some people can't handle that they like to they just can't handle truth some people can't handle it can't handle the truth Anyway, so <laughs> I have to tell you this, and I know some of you are going through this, okay? And you're going to appreciate the story, what I'm sharing with you. So how do you know when your guides are talking to you? I'm going to tell you exactly how they're talking, and I'm going to tell you how they hear you, okay? Because they do. They really do. Where do you think our emojis came from? <laughs> Where do you think all the ideals of our emojis for our phone came from? It came from them because we're always looking, trying to solve and figure things out. So I have a book off to the side here, The Power of Your Words, Ignite Your Life with Lightning Force by Sharon Ann Keldner. So, okay, here it is. So last night after I finished... Um, I think I did a video last night. I think it was last night. I don't know anymore. Um, I think I did. Yes, I did. Um, because I just got back from Lodge, and I want to share something with you. Um, I do have it in the description about this channel, what this channel is dedicate, dedicated to. And when I was in the Lodge, we are sitting there, we're going to bring the stones in, me and my brother, sister, son dancers, and and there was a Tomi there, which is spider, and it was coming out of the pit, and we like to take anything that could be um, threatened or hurt, take it out of the lodge. So the spider was running all over the place. I'm trying not to get it to run up on me, and I said, look, you know. And then finally, I just went straight into light language and started speaking light language to the spider and said, in light language, tone, pointed my finger down next to the spider and stopped dead in his tracks, said, talked to the light, light language tone, said, crawl up on my sister's prayer fan and we will take you out of the lodge. But it was in light language, not in human tone, the soul language the soul language that we all have to talk but we have forgotten how to connect to and, ha and forgotten how to um, use it so I, I said it in light language everybody was watching me talking this language to the spider it crawled up onto her fan onto her prayer fan and then she handed it to her husband and her husband was able to take it out of the lodge and let it go f be free and roam and do its thing. So light language, if you ever hear somebody talk like language or speaking in tongues is another ancient word for it. It is the sacred language of the soul, the sacred creational language of the universe that you're speaking. So this language um, comes through and it's, it's your higher self speaking in that, in that soul language. And it's only to be understood by the heart. You can't decipher it by the mind and try to figure out what, what the person is saying. You can feel it in your heart and then someone who feels it in the heart can translate it of the expression of the words of what's coming through. But it's felt through the heart and that's how it's coming through. So anyway, got a story for you for what happened and last night. And this is leading up to what is um, 
um, the July 7th, what is July, excuse me, the month of July is all about. So it's, it's going to be testing us to stay in our higher self, to stay in that heart area and to be true to that. So I'm, <laughs> I got frustrated. I was trying to get my writing part because I'm trying so hard to get the writing part done so I can describe to people what I'm doing. And then I got frustrated with my YouTube channel because I want to put that um, that little advertisement that comes up where it shows like a little movie that introduces and it plays it. So I, I still have no idea how to figure that out, but I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to figure it out. Some kind of way I'll get the answer. Um, so be patient with me on that. But I want to thank all of you that have been subscribing and watching and liking and leave comments um, if you need to know something or you've got a question or something if I don't have the answer I will find the answer out for you so and just remember this is a metaphysical station and I do everything from the heart and with love and I only ask that everyone that comes to this area that comes to this station this channel that this is sacred space and to be loving and kind to one another and I'm simply here just to help um, fa facilitate the energy of awakening and to do my part that I came here on this earth to do so and um, and whatever that is and that's what I do so anyway got frustrated last night a couple words went down <laughs> <laughs> I'm 53 years old. I've earned these things. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I got upset and I said, ah, I'm, I'm just going to go to bed. I don't have time to try to figure out all this technology and where, where this went. Now my book went in some file somewhere and my license thing isn't working so I can get my book out of there. And I just, I, I'm, I'm going to bed. So I go to bed. Okay, and I know a lot of you have done this. All right. I know. I know you've done this. Because what I'm about to say, you're going to be nodding your head. I go to bed and I lay there and I say, oh. So I, I send out my, my connectional prayer to my team, my divine team, my star grandmothers and grandfathers. And I start telling, because they're all so close nearby and I hear them when they laugh at me. <laughs> and I said, you know, I'm just trying to follow through and trying to get this done in a good way. And I, I'm just, I get so frustrated with all this technology. And, and I, I, I said, you know what, I think I just, now this is truth. I, I give up trying to do all of this. It's just so aggravating. Why don't I just work a regular job and just, just be done with trying to do everything and get everything out there? It's so agitating. I said, show me if I'm still on the right track and you still want me to keep going forward. Is there, are people really receiving from me what they need? Am I being a good um, support and a um, assistance for people to make that conscious awareness in themselves to be activated to be awake am I doing what I need to be doing thank you I'd like to have my message sometime within 24 hours please okay that's what I said go sleep wake up I'm saying to myself oh my god I gotta go in oh my god <laughs> Oh, help me, help me. <laughs> so, you know, come on. All of you have been there. It's a Monday morning, for God's sakes. Come on. Who's jumping for joy to get out of bed on a Monday? <laughs> so I get up, get myself going, and I, and I stir up my mind, and I get into my God for self. And I say, okay, I came from 
the God source. I came from the source. I'm created in God's image. I'm created in that image. Therefore, hmm, I need to think like that because I am a creator. That's what I am. And I, what I shifted myself into, now I share this with you because I want you to think about this. You come from a highly divine source of energy. You're an energy spirit being in a temporary body having a human experience. You are this light soul being, okay? So, I say that, get myself all pumped up, go into work, get my client list, who I'm going to be seeing. Everything's fine, the first client. I get to my second client, and out of, out of respect for this client, I'm not going to say her name, but she's, she's, she's awesome, awesome lady, and you're going to find out why I'm saying this. So, here's how my beloved divine team shut me down with my mouth wide open saying OMG, okay? So she comes in. She's sitting in the lounge. I walk into the lounge. I say her name. And I'm thinking it's the lady that's sitting across, but she's actually sitting off to her side, and I don't feel her vibration. I don't feel her frequency. And I'm like, oh my gosh, her frequency is really low. Her vibration is really low. Oh, what's going on with her? So I said, hi, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be doing the work on you today, and come on in. And we get into the room, and... I just, everybody starts talking when I get with someone that is a, a divine spirit person, can connect with spirit, and they are gifted. So everybody starts talking. I'm like, okay, hold on a second. I'm getting bombarded. So I stand there and I'm, I said, what brings you in today? Because I'm hearing a lot of things going on with you. And this is the gift that you don't see when you do your work and you're out there being and doing what your soul calls you to do. And a lot of us do not get this type of feedback in the way that you're getting ready to hear it how I received it. Because you don't know how important you are and what you're doing every single day, making an effort, going to do what you do, going to do what you love, being a part of the greater good, okay? And sometimes you might walk away from your day or whatever it is that you do as your healing work, whatever it is, walk away from the day wondering if you made a difference, wondering if, you're still on the right path. Well, I got shut down to a high dimensional 11. Here we go. And she says to me, well, the way I ended up here with you is simply this. I was in a nail salon minding my business and I heard this young lady talking about an experience she had with a lady that she had a great healing session with. It was life changing for her. She couldn't stop talking about it. She felt so good. And I was leaning in, trying not to listen to it, but I couldn't help because I was going through some transformational things myself. And I leaned in and I said, excuse me, who are you talking about? I need to connect with this person. Now, in my mind, I'm thinking, what? My name is being talked about in a nail salon? And I'm like, what? Oh, why? And, and then I'm thinking, wait a minute. It's not about the nail salon. It's about the fact that this person was going through something in their life, and I was in that space to be assistance to that, okay? follow what I'm saying? You're playing a bigger role than you know. Okay, It's not just about what you're doing as your work, but it's how it ripples out there. And it continues. Our touch, our hands, our voice, our 
being is so important when we're engaging with everyone and helping them whether you're a Reiki practitioner, massage therapist, an acupuncturist, a naturopath it, um, it doesn't matter what your healing is, what you're doing it causes this expansion of a ripple effect in someone's life and then they they go out and they take it out there and they talk about it okay they talk about it with other people and I had no clue that something of that magnitude was happening because I'm just thinking right here right now let me take care of this let me just make sure this person is feeling balanced make make sure I'm making the connection of what they need that's all I'm thinking just like many of you when you're out there doing your healing work you're thinking that okay so back to the story she tells the young lady I'm sorry I, I just want to get the information and who it was so the information was given to her come to find out as she's talking to the past client that it came and saw me the client tells her I'm not one that that lets my guard down to talk to anybody new but for some reason I felt like I've never I felt comfortable to be able to do that and I haven't had that comfort in a long time so these two just over that incident became um, tea friends or coffee friends and have built up a rapport just over this one incident that happened to her so this lady comes in and tells me this is how I ended up with you because I'm going through transformation I'm going through things and I said okay and and then come to find out this is the kicker she is someone that works with healers and and people who have gifts that are readers and um, mediums and psychics and she's her work is a publicist all the way down from the LA area coming up here and what was the odds of me being at work meeting someone with that talent and that know-how and immediately she was all about I like to know if you can help me get unblocked I like to know if you can help me find out my next part of my path and I want to be of a higher service for people and I'm wanting to change and really take my skills and open my skills for a, another avenue to get people out there to to help people get out there so words for exchange my team came in and helped me give her some guidance and I was just blown away and needless to say she's very smart because she went online and looked me up and found my YouTube channel found my um, Instagram she found it because I, I have it all kind of where you, you if you figure it out you can find who where my stuff is and um, I, I was just like wow how amazing was that and as soon as she left out of the room I'm in the room getting everything set up for another client to see and I hear my my guides my beautiful star grandmothers say see you are on the right path we just had to make sure you received it well <laughs> so I just started laughing and I, I want to share this with all of you and I want you to just know this we all are different okay in our healing modalities we all have gifts don't compare yourself to someone else stop thinking if you're not on the right path or um, are you doing it right because you know what when we agreed to come here on this earth to be a part of this 
big transformation has taken place. There was no book or anything handed to us on how to get to A to B to C to D. We have all just been walking through this with our hearts and just wanting to do the best thing for the highest good. And I, I really think that's the whole truth for all healers who are right now at this moment. This is our time. We have been preparing for this great changeover. Now this eclipse, and I know I've been talking about this, but I'm talking about it because it's a Stargate portal that's opening up which is allowing a lot more of these star beings to come in and be here mixed in with us and helping with this whole ascension process that everyone talks about on YouTube. The, the awakening, the ascension. And um, it's really nothing to panic about. It's just a beautiful thing because if you just pay attention to the sky, you pay attention to those clouds, and you look at certain clouds that don't look right, that don't look like normal clouds, they have a circular disc look or a triangular look, and they don't, they're, they're trying to blend in, and they don't look right, and you take a picture of it, and it actually shows the shadow outline of what is sitting up in the sky. They're, they're all around us. Because one of the things for sure they're not going to allow to happen is a war. They're not going to let that happen on this planet. They're done, they're, they don't want any more nuke war attacks on Mother Earth. They don't want to see that anymore. And man has got to rise up and stop this nonsense. Stop destroying life. So, all of you, get your medicine in order, get yourself in order, drink lots of water and take care of yourself and nourish yourself and love yourself and trust yourself that you're being guided. This is the biggest time right now. This whole month is all about shifting you, you're going to be triggered by certain things that come up from the past. Learn how to move out of it. Stay in the now. Stay focused. Stay in the now. Stay in that part. So, I just wanted to come on and share that. How my team steps in and, and does that. And I, I feel very humbled and, and honored by my my divine team. And they are just so good to me. And your team is good to you too. Just make sure you're connecting. That's all you got to do. Just connect. So when you come home, remember what I told you. Take care of yourself. Smudge yourself. Take your sea salt bath. You're going to want to do it more than ever this week. Keep your frequency up. Don't get involved in drama. Don't create drama. Be in that higher frequency and create. Look at that. The power of your words. What are you creating? What are you putting out there? Because for God's sakes, it will manifest now. There's not going to be any hesitations. There's no delays. Okay. So I just wanted to share that with all of you. And once again, I wanted to say thank you for subscribing. Hit that, that button and subscribe and like. Share it as much as you can so this channel can build itself up. I'm going to try to do a video every day so that the artificial intelligence can grab me and... I can kind of get sifted up a little bit more so my ch channel is not so hard to find. But I'm all about, let's get going. Let's create. Stay in that space. 
And those of you, stop sitting around trying to figure out how you're manifesting. Come on. This is, if you're on this planet, you already know how to manifest. Okay? Take accountability. You already know how you're manifesting. Because if you're not liking what's in your world right now, you better unmanifest it. And manifest what you do want. So, anyway. Anyway, I love you all. I want each and every one of you to sleep very well tonight. And I am going to go take a very luxurious goddess bath. Yes, I think that's what I'm going to do. Anyway, enjoy your sleep tonight. And I'll see you on the beautiful Be So Light side. Be So Light. Have a good day. Have a good night.